Okay everyone, what I wanted to do today was take some time to show you how to change your flight modes on your radio. So basically the Iris Plus comes standard with um, Stabilize, which is they call standard, and then Loiter, and then Auto. And then you also have the RTL function on the other switch. So I'm going to show you a way to get six flight modes plus Auto plus um, RTL all by using different switches and different combinations. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at um, under initial setup and then you're going to go to flight modes and as you can see the standard flight modes are listed here. So you have stabilize, loiter, auto, RTL, RTL, RTL. So basically how this works is the left three position switch is for flight modes one, two, and three and then when you flip the switch to the right of the three position switch um, down that switches you into mode four five and six so all they're doing here is they're creating RTL to be no matter which position your three position switch is, it'll always do RTL when you flip it so if I flip it to the middle it's gonna go to RTL on flight mode five if I flip it to the bottom it's gonna go to RTL on flight mode six so here's a trick and here's a way to get way more flight modes. So what you can do is um, you can go ahead and you can set up your three flight modes for your um, position, your three position switch when the switch to the right of it, which is the aileron switch, is up. So I like to do like stabilize, position hold is way better than loiter. And then, um, let's see, we can do loiter as well just to have that. And then let's just say we want to do alt hold. And then um, I like to do circles once in a while. And then my last one, let's just do land in case I get into a pickle and I just need the thing to just land. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now when I go on my switch and I put it all the way up on both, I'm going to get my standard slash stabilize. When I go to the next one, I'm going to get position hold. <clears throat> when I get when I put the switch down all the way, I'm going to get loiter. Now, if I put it back up and I switch the switch to the right, the aileron switch down, it's going to go to alt hold. And then I push it down one more, I'm going to get circle, and then down again, I'm going to get land. So now I have six different flight modes by using the combination of two switches. So now you're probably asking, well, how do I get RTL? Well, if you notice on the left side of your radio, you have that channel 7 that's just sitting there doing nothing. What you can do is you can go to config tuning, and then you can go to extended tuning, and you'll notice here you have channel 7 opt, optional, and it says do nothing. So you can pull the menu down. You have a whole bunch of things you can do here, but you can change that to RTL. And then what I like to do, you're probably thinking, well, now I don't have auto anymore. Well, auto is that switch on the top far left side of your radio, which is under, it's like throttle cut. You can go down and change that one to your auto. And then you hit the right parameters and it's going to say channel eight has more than doubled the last input. Are you sure? You hit yes. Channel seven, yes. So now, as you can see, um, if I go over to flight data, um, you can see right here it's in stabilized now. Now I'm going to flip that channel 7 switch to the down position and watch it change. Ooh, now I got RTL on my left switch. Now I'm going to put it back up, back to stabilize. Now I'm going to flip that back left switch, the throttle cut switch. Oh, now I got auto. Isn't that cool? So as you can see, I now have six different flight modes on the two right switches. I have channel 7 which will be my seventh flight mode and then I have my auto which is my eighth flight mode. So I technically have eight different options that I can do now with all my switches. And it's pretty simple to set up. Um, you know you just go into flight modes, you set the ones you want and then what I did is I printed these little stickers and I'll put a link to the sticker in my uh, description so you can check it out. But here's what it looks like. So you can see I have you know my six different modes, the ones on the left and the ones on the right, and the right ones mean that that switch is up or down. Um, 
So um, I hope this helps you out and um, gives you some direction on what you want to do and how to can you know do a bunch of different flight modes to give you more flexibility. And then, like I said, you know you can change these to anything you want. Like I know a lot of people like drift mode, and then some people like sport mode, so they can add those as well. Um, so, anyways. Always remember to hit save modes when you're done. Um, and then also when you're in the config tuning, remember to write the parameters. Otherwise, if you don't, it's not going to work. Thanks.